In this video, I'm going to go over how to set a domain on a one-to-many field. We're going to go into our contacts application. We're going to go into our customer one. Some studio work I've already done was convert this Kanban view for all the related addresses for this particular company um, to a list view. And now what we're going to try to do is separate out in different lists all of the delivery and invoices at invoice addresses and in order to do that I need to create a related field on a new tab and I'm going to have that related field be or actually a, a uh, one to many field I should say um, relating to this customer and what we're going to do there is go into the fields and edit the domain in order for it to only filter by delivery addresses so that we can have separate tabs for each of those so I'm going to go into Studio. I'm going to go to our new page here and I'll call it Delivery Addresses. And we'll drag and drop a one-to-many field. We'll pop this open. And what we want is related company in the contact model. And it's going to give us the same two related companies as our contact and addresses have. As you see, customer one, customer one, and these are the two addresses. One is a delivery, one is an invoice address. So now I'm going to click into delivery addresses. I'm going to click on our list view and I'm going to click more on our left hand corner. You may need to be in debug mode to see this. So I'm going to go to edit and I'm just going to create a new domain. I'll zoom in here so you can see it. Essentially, we're going to do type, which is the delivery type, so equals, and this one is going to be delivery. That should work, unless we might have to capitalize something, but let's double check. So we'll go back to our views. Just close out of studio and then we'll look at it here. Let's go to delivery addresses and as you can see we filtered and we now only see our delivery address. So if we add another delivery address here, new address, and we go over to our delivery addresses, save this first, we see the new address on our right side in our delivery address. You can also add it from here and it will pop up on this list. But the end goal will probably be to hide this view here because we can't edit a one-to-many field that is built into the system. We have to create a new one. So we'll just show our delivery addresses and our invoice addresses.